y'all, when I tell you, you're gonna have a boozy holiday season, no matter what eggnog recipe you drink. If you wanna find out how, just watch the video, just stay, we'll just go along with me on this journey. It's gonna be great. everyone here we are here we are another tipsy Tuesday and when I tell you this Tuesday is already tipsy for me okay when I tell you I have tried a couple of eggnog recipes um spiked eggnog recipes I tried a couple before I recorded this and I'm feeling very warm I'm feeling very nice I'm feeling very festive so I what I decided to do is I, I combined one way to garnish your drink from like one thing that I saw and just like a simple way to do it because the way people had me making like spiked eggnog was super super not I wouldn't say it's complicated but it's not something that you want to get like a quick cocktail going like a lot of them had you making it from scratch and I don't know about y'all, but I don't have time, nor do I feel like making the drink from scratch. Not right now, at least. Later in the holiday season, or maybe next year, maybe I will want to make a more complicated drink from scratch. And then other recipes had you, like, mixing, like, dark liquor and light liquor. And I'm just like, y'all trying to have me on the floor for real? And honestly, I did try that recipe and I was like, yo, I'm gonna wait until like people can actually like have functions. That's when I'm gonna present that recipe because that recipe will literally have all y'all at that function feeling super califragilisticexpialidocious, literally. Since everyone's just like chilling this year, no one's going rah, rah, woo, woo, I am going to present you all with a very simple recipe. So if you haven't figured it out yet, today we are doing a simple spiked eggnog cocktail recipe. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, hey. Make sure you all subscribe, like, and comment. Um, let me know if you have like this wonderful spiked eggnog recipe because I am I am truly, truly dedicated to this spiked eggnog recipe deal. Like there's so many ways you can do it. So I definitely want to try different ways. Um, so if you like have a way, if you've tried it, like truly let me know because we're going along on this journey together. But I thought we'd start out with like the simplest way to go and that's literally all you need is a nice glass you can use any glass that you want with your spiked eggnog I just thought this one was cute that I had so I'm gonna use this um, this drink is stirred not shaken so I have my stirrer here I have my spoon for when we make the garnish oh and this is a drink usually I say we're not gonna measure anything but this drink specifically we're measuring because if it just depends on how, like, what type of alcohol person, you know, connoisseur you are. This is just a great drink to measure because you don't want to have the liquor overpower it. You don't want too much. It's just great. It's, it's, yeah, this is a drink that I'm definitely measuring. Um, sugar, cinnamon, simple syrup, bourbon, and some eggnog. Uh, these are all ingredients that you all probably have at your home besides simple syrup if you never made a drink with me and eggnog I'm, or and maybe bourbon if you don't like drink dark like that like I usually don't drink dark like that but I definitely this is the one I like I, this is the bourbon that I like so I get that bourbon like I, I got it so much that I even got the bigger one whatever got a lot back here but this, that's just what we're doing today um like i said super super simple um so basically what we're gonna do is we're going to garnish our drink first i mean you can make the drink or whatever but as soon as i make the drink i'm gonna want to drink the drink so i'm just going to take my cinnamon and i'm gonna put some cinnamon on my plate here and then i'm gonna take some sugar i'm gonna put my sugar in there Put some more cinnamon. I ain't put too much. Sugar. I'm gonna just stir that on up. Make sure it's all in there. And then I'm gonna take my simple syrup 
And then I'm just going to pour some simple syrup in there. Y'all ever made like mud pies as kids? Because that's exactly what this looks like. Like when you add like the water to your mud dirt. No, I'm the only one. Okay, it's fine. It's cool. But that's exactly what it looks like. Ah! So what you're going to do is then you're going to take your glass of choice and then you're just gonna you know shum 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 just stir it on in there just get get in there get in there and i mean you can do it like how much you can do it on the side kind of did it on the side a little bit too much but it's fine it's all going into one place so we're just gonna sit our garnish stuff to the side no that's actually good that's actually good. That's actually very good. So what you want to do, if you are not the biggest bourbon dark liquor person, definitely put more eggnog than bourbon. Now, what I will say is you want this to be a spiked eggnog. You want to feel the buzz. So definitely make sure that you put the same amount of alcohol like keep that, you're gonna keep a shot of alcohol, but definitely like if you need more eggnog, definitely put more eggnog. So I'm going to start off by pouring this eggnog in here. Usually I say like pour half a glass, but I'm gonna pour just a little bit more because I have a large glass. And then I'm going to take my bourbon and we're gonna do this. Now, I could just pour the bourbon straight in there, but I'm not. I am going to definitely measure this because, like I said, I'm not trying to be on the flow. Okay? And then you're just going to mix it up. Remember, it's stirred, not shaken. I love shaking drinks, but it's we're just going to, we're going to stir it today. All right? And if you want to add a little shum shum on top, add a little shum shum, a little cinnamon on top. All right, cool, cool, great, awesome sauce. Cheers, my friends. Here's to um, here's to making Tipsy Tuesday videos on a work night. Yay! Woo! Okay. You know how like. Black people gotta smack their tongue, make sure they taste it right. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! There you go. There it is. And <laughs> there's the alcohol. All right, folks. There you go. There you have it. This is it. This is the simplest spiked eggnog recipe you'll find. You're literally just mixing liquor and eggnog that simple but anyways cheers happy holidays everyone please stay safe also like subscribe comment just thought i remind y'all but anyways peace